this is the shopping I've done. This is the what I've bought for now. And wash me over until my will runs dry. They can just find me on the floor there. I have collapsed from hunger. What? Oh, so sweet. Mm. You've seen my to do lists. I added actually another one. It has like seven things. I don't know why I do this. Funny thing is, I love Mondays. People don't like Mondays. I love Mondays. Mondays and Fridays. Because it symbolizes a fresh start. I feel like everything that I wasn't able to accomplish in the past year, now this is an opportunity to start afresh. So when it comes to Monday, actually when it comes to Sunday, I start getting excited about Monday and start thinking about it. Very weird. Which was not the case when I was employed because obviously never wanted the weekend to end. But now I'm just like, yeah, tomorrow I'm going to do this and do this and do this. So 
some startup my to-do list and realize it's too much actually. It's not possible for me to accomplish all of those things because of two things that are going to take time. One is braiding my hair. I want to braid my hair and I want to have braids on. Those take time. They can even take up to five, six hours. And you know I'm only going to capture like two to three minutes of it and put it in this vlog. So by the time the morning is over, the vlog may be seven minutes long. And then the next thing that will take time is I want to stock up on my monthly shopping. Okay? I want to add a few things here and there. But now the problem is I normally don't do shopping in our neighborhood or estate. Because we don't have a big supermarket here. We don't have power star, no naivas, no carrefour, nothing. This place is small and it's kind of hidden. So we have not those two small supermarkets, two mini supermarkets, almost like a big shop. When you want to add on the basic things like soap, sugar, you have them. But they don't even have sausage. Me, I've never seen sausage in the supermarket that I go to. So a supermarket, a supermarket that doesn't even have sausage, you can imagine, it doesn't have a lot of things. And there are things that also you can't get a variety of brands. It's only selected. So I normally go to the nearest neighborhood or area. I do my shopping from there. Then I come with my picky picky, add tuk tuk to get me here. So I'm thinking this is something that is going to take time since I'm not going to do shopping here. And also the braiding will take time. Yet I have to clean this house too. I don't clean over the weekend. I clean on Friday. I don't clean on Saturday and Sunday. Those are my days of resting. So since I haven't cleaned the past two days, my house is not that clean. So obviously all these are not possible because of these two things that will take time. So I'm thinking maybe I should push braiding my hair to tomorrow so that today I do everything else I and I have a consultation with someone in the evening and I'm still going through their channel because I started, I will tell you about it some other time. Point is let me take this and then work out, clean this house, then do the monthly shopping. Uh -huh. <laughs> your time that tells you who you are so think about what it is you like to create in your life experience once I look at how you commit your time once I do an evaluation on how you spend your time I can tell you exactly what you're committed to how much time do you spend working on you how much time do you spend every day working on your dream in the last 90 days how many books have you read in the last year what new skill or knowledge have you acquired how you speak to yourself determines how you act. And a lot of you guys make things harder on yourselves than what it really has to be. For example, when we talk about building a company and we talk about sacrificing the weekends and the nights out and the times with friends, the vacations, we talk about it in terms of like, it's this painful thing, right? Sacrifice. Or we talk about building a body we talk about sacrifice and we talk about how hard it is and we talk about how painful it is. But the problem with that, guys, is that sometimes that language can actually make shit artificially harder than what it has to be. I want you to stop thinking of things in terms of sacrifice. And I want you to start thinking in terms of investment. When you miss the weekends with the guys or miss the night out with the girls or you pass on the trip or you do this you're not sacrificing anything you're actually making an investment because the investment is delayed gratification and it, you just haven't seen the payoff yet all right so when you miss a night out to work out you're not sacrificing a night out you're making an investment in the future and that investment in the future is going to create a better life. It's going to create more money. It's going to create better relationships. It's going to create a better body. When you're getting something in return for what you're giving up, it's not really a sacrifice. It's an investment. 
What kind of investment have you made in you? You have to give it everything you got. All the successful people have the exact same amount of time that you have each day. So what did they do that you may not be doing? They invested in themselves on the weekends, after work, in the evening, they put time in something that they wanted to do. They invested their own time in themselves. Hey guys, so I am ready to leave. I have my shopping list here. It doesn't seem like much. I don't know if there is something I'm forgetting. But yeah, I just want to stock up mostly on the basics. And then I had, I have, I don't even know why I have all these two huge bags. <laughs> like when you, am I going to buy a lot of things that are going to fit in here? I don't know. But since I have them, I'm cutting them so I don't have to pay for them again on the counter. So this is it. The way it is caught in Nairobi. Hey, I cannot att attempt to do makeup today, not ever. And then I was seeing these warnings. I've just done my skincare. Actually, it's just moisturizer and sunscreen. I've not done anything else. Let me just wait to lie in this so I can even look somehow like a put in effort. But I've done my hair and I have earrings. <laughs> Just a little bit. My fellow Nairobians, have you seen this message circulating around that oh, there's a heat wave coming, it's going to be so hot, and I'm like, what do you mean coming? We've been in the oven for the past, I don't know, one month, one and a half months. So there's an, another one coming, like, it's going to be worse than this. <laughs> yeah, don't do any well extreme weather conditions. Woo! I don't know which heat wave. We normally don't experience things like this. They're like, what the hell is it? What's going on? And then uh, the message says, you know, all those things that you do to make sure that you stay cool and you're hydrated, drink lots of water, maybe avoid alcohol. Yeah, they all make sense until they go to a point at it. Avoid animal protein because they warm up the body and they make you feel hot. I was like, so we should now stay away from eating meat so we don't become hotter than... Yeah, I was like, what? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> that was funny. But anyway, guys, let me go. Technically, it's midday. I should have ended this video, but I just want to show you that part of me uh, doing my shopping and then maybe show you what I've bought before I end this video. So let's go. Well, there's something about the weather when we're out on our own. Some about the path that leads us forever home We don't need a reason Just changing with the seasons Following the feeling in our souls Now the you with me Still miles away from the end of the day And the wind walks by our side We'll fly through the rivers and we'll swim through the sky Nothing can bring us down when it's you and I consultation at 5 p.m. with a youtuber from Canada if you've not been watching my youtuber series 
I am offering audits. I even announced it. I did a free audit when we went live with Goga. I'm offering an audit, which means I'm going through your channel as a YouTuber, checking your thumbnails, your titles, uh, watching your videos, trying to see what you can do to improve or where you're slacking or where you're doing well. So that's what I've been doing for this YouTuber. I've been going through her channel and then now I'll have a consultation with her today at 5 p.m. Kenyan time. If you are a YouTuber and maybe you just need like another set of eyes, someone to just someone from outside to just look at your content and be like, this is what you could improve on. Holler at me, it's fifteen dollars only at this point for Kenya fifteen hundred. So let's do this first so I can continue with that. Tissue paper, rosy, eight rolls. I think this is where toiletries are. This is a kitchen towel. And then, I don't know why this supermarket was not stocked today, these neighbors, and that's why I know my shop. It was not stocked. There were no sausages, and, the, and then there were no, there was no maize flour. Maize flour is like the main meal here in Kenya. We eat ugali if you're not from Kenya. That's like the main thing. There's no maize flour. Okay, they had the other types. I just wanted kabagara, so I have to go and buy that elsewhere. And also, I realize even in terms of tissue paper, they only had this one brand, which Hanan is good, but I always like to have different options so I can compare. These ones, I decided to try these Faye. They look so nice and so small. They're serviettes. These are toiletries I've discovered. This is Vim for cleaning. Toilet also for cleaning. Um, is it called? This is also for cleaning pans if you have non-stick. When I'm doing, I'll do a review of the non-stick pans. Actually, the post that I, I use. I wanted to use them for at least six months before I give a review. When I give a review, I'll tell you how to clean them also using this. If they have stains. So... This is toilet cleaner. For, for years and years I've been using Hapik. The price has not tripled. With this economy in Kenya, ha ha ha. This one is so good. This S, I've used the green one and the blue one. So I'm trying the orange. What do we know them by color instead of the scent? This is fruity. So this one, it is very, very effective. Even if you have stains, you just pour in the toilet, give it a few minutes, scrub. This one, I love it. And the price also is cheaper, way cheaper than Hapik. This is a uh, hand wash. I don't know if it's only me. These days I only use white. So I look for things that have like coconut or whatever. White. There's a time I tried, I don't know which color, I don't know, orange or whatever. When I see that color dripping on the sink, it irritates me. Like I just feel like, eh. see, slimy orange or whatever. White only. This is Colgate, nothing special. So I've always used Vaseline, I've used Nivea. I've been using the cocoa butter for years and then I tried this after I saw Kim Kadesi recommended it, the dry skin repair, and I loved it. So I got it. I always combine it with my glycerin. The pure one, I know there are some sweet scented, sweet cocoa, pure, that's the only one that works for me because I have dry skin. So when I combine the two, let me show you the one that I've used before. The one that I even applied before leaving, this is it. Same, but it is running over. Pure glycerin. If you have dry skin, I don't know why you don't have dry glycerin. And then, after this point, they combine the food with the nini, the toiletries. And then I use a uh, boat morning fresh. Personally, I prefer the small ones. I want to get two small ones because I feel like this is so big. If I keep doing this, the small one is easier for me, but they didn't want to have them. And then I've always used the lemon one, so I wanted to try this orange and tea tree. Oh, okay. I am going to rush. <laughs> Time is not on my side, this is TV. I like these ones that are individually packed or wrapped. So, these other things that are coming down, the sponge cloth, I don't know why I just got one, but I just got one. When it comes to baking soap, I do not have any particular one that I use, though I like dog. So, I saw this one today, I decided to try it, flamingos. The price is also friendly. I don't see. In this economy, ha, brand wear. Most, there's a lot of things stick to brands these days. The only few things that I buy, particular brands, the rest, like that maize flour, I only want Kavagara. But the rest, I look for the cheapest. Even this one, I normally go for Aerial for this uh, washing detergent because Aerial is effective, very, very effective in removing stains. I added pocket tissues. I don't want to use velvets or olives. And then these are spices. I don't know why they put spices here. But these are spices. This is citric acid. Personally, I prefer the nini. It's too white. Personally, I prefer the, the, 
lemon, lemon is fun, but most of the time you find that sometimes I want to prepare porridge, I don't have the lemon. So at least this one for those times. And then I bought garam masala, I've run out of spices. I have run out of spices. So I just bought I think three or four today. This is garam masala. I normally just buy tropical is it tropical heat. But eh, I checked the prices against all the other brands. Eh, tropical heat is expensive, yo. So this one I bought from Nature's Own. I've never used them. But it will do. Uh, let me open this other one first of first. Okay, the way they are packing these things. Now look at soap. And it's supposed to be this close. Menengai, in Menengai we trust. I know they are, I said I don't stick to brands, but there are particular things like this one. Menengai you just have to wear. The others are going to use so many of them. I've also ran out of my collection of tea. Guy, there was a time I had a collection. I had raspberry tea, hibiscus, lemon, ginger, I don't know what. I've used all of them, so I just bought cinnamon today. I've never tried this cinnamon, but since it's ketchupa, I trust that it is good. I just want to know what it is. These ones are the... I don't want to touch my hands on it, like the, the buns, the chocolate buns. This is another spice I bought. I bought paprika. Imagine I've been I've even ran out of paprika, which is like these are basic spices. Zester, particularly for Taraji. Taraji loves it so much. This is the brand of coconut powder that I started using and I love it so much. So I bought it. This is how to use it for. I use it for beans mostly. This blue band. So this is what we grew up on. Okay, when you know. Blue band was the eat thing. I love blue band. But there's a thing I started using prestige a lot because prestige one is cheaper and then it spreads it spreads more easily. Prestige is smoother. But now today I saw that this one had enough. I think I showed you guys. It was like the difference between this and prestige was five shillings. It was five shillings more. And then they said that if you buy this one, you are given the neighbor's bread. And the way that neighbor's bread is so sweet. I, I've heard people rant about it, talk about it so much, I didn't even know why until I started living with my brother and then my brother loves it, so I tested it from It's so sweet. So that's the reason why I bought Blue Band today. Tell me why they did not give me the bread. Let me just remember in my head. I don't know if I was the one who was supposed to ask for it or it's, I don't know. But anyway, it's okay. I love Blue Band still. It's a very nice brand. And then this is the last spice that I bought, which is curry powder. This is the only curry powder I've been using for years. I don't know why I started using some other brands. Other things I like tropical heat, but when it comes to curry powder, Simba, this one, ha, Kibokoyao, superior. This curry powder is it. Oh, it makes the food. And Simba means lion. It is a lion in the curry powder industry. Oh, they have hyped them up. They should pay me. Aya, ah, yeah. I bought some juice. Imagine I didn't get sausages. I think the way I've wanted sausages. It's been long since I bought sausages. And then I bought this one because it was on offer. In my shopping list, I've written two liters or three liters. I did I wasn't sure which one I wanted. I was like, depending on the price, because you know how much cooking oil costs right now. The price has like almost tripled. But now when I got there and I saw the three liter high was on offer and I was going to save around I don't know 200 and something or 300 and something I was like I am taking the three liter it will serve me well especially because I've also got this one cowboy this is what I used to cook chapati those who normally ask me how much your chapati is yellow they are yellow because of cowboy so when I have these actually there was a time I used to do shopping and I buy like three different types of oil I would buy this one for normal cooking, I'll buy this one for chapati and then I'll buy the solid oil for omena because omena takes up a lot of oil. <laughs> but these days I just cook omena with this one. We'll see that later. Time, time is of the essence. And then I bought drinking chocolate. I love it, but mostly for taraji. I want to go back to drinking this kind of cheese. I love them so much. About, I bought Reiko. I didn't buy the, the one in the sachet. Ah, no, this is sachet. I didn't buy the one in the container because I have a container. So I'm just going to transfer this one because it's affordable. I always just like to have this small basket. I don't know why. And then I have chapati flour. I have chapati flour that will take me the next month or so. So I only bought for mandazi. And for mandazi, X self-raising is the only thing that I believe in when it comes to mandazi. 
I know, I know, I know what I said about brands, but there are particular ones. This one will give you the best mandazis. And then the last thing are sugar. Oh, who is calling? Yay! I cannot pick. Stop calling, stop calling. Stop. I'm going to leave them to finish calling and then they are finished calling. They are calling. So this is sugar, this is 2 kgs, I bought from Nervas and this one is 1 kg, so basically this is 3 kgs of sugar. I prefer to buy sugar from the local supermarket. If for example if I'm buying sugar from Carrefour, I would like the one written Carrefour or if it's power star, the one written power star because one they're normally cheaper than the other because I don't know they buy them in bulk and then they package them on their own. So if you're looking to save cash, if you're in Pasta, buy the one written power star. If you're in Carrefour, buy the one written Carrefour or the name of that supermarket. So, so this is the shopping I've done minus maize flour. I'll go and buy maize flour separately minus rice because I normally buy my rice from the cereal shop, not from the supermarket. And then also some grains, you know, like dengue. Dengue is green grams. So this is the what I bought for now. Someone had requested me to do a review of this um, microwave. Let me do that in the next vlog because yeah, time is not on my side, please. Again, if you're a YouTuber, if you need me to edit your video, let me know. The master class is also coming up in March. That's in about like two to three weeks. It's not fast. So if you want book, contact me, email or Instagram. This is where I end the video. It's like I spend the morning stroke part of the afternoon with me. Thank you so much for watching. Now I'm sana and see you in my next vlog. Bye bye.